the sea. Okay. Welcome everybody to episode 23. Michael Jordan. Is that his number? Mm. Yes. I'm not familiar. Okay, my name is Simone Mample. Here we have... Tapero Khaji. Oh, we're stopping there today. Where yeah. is the 44 images? It's coming, 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 it's and we want to give a shout out to everybody who has followed us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and has watched our episodes on YouTube. Thank you very much. Um, but also the premiere, there was a number of people who was... Yes, there was a few people who joined us with the premiere, thank you. Especially our viewer, you also commented quite a lot there. So we're going to be premi premiering... CK was also premiering. Yes, yeah. she was also. And CK. Paul was also. Yeah, and Paul was also there. Sigir is the one who's always commenting, eh? Shout out. Shout out. So before we get into the actual shout outs, we wanna celebrate our birthday. One year old. <laughs> Guys, we are one years old, like a whole one. A whole one. On the 21st of June, we celebrated our first birthday. So we never planned this when we started. We didn't think like, okay, yay, one day we're gonna be here. Although we still <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, we didn't know how far it was going to go, we just <laughs> filmed for fancies. So we decided we were going to celebrate our birthday with cupcakes. My no sugar diet starts tomorrow. Ah, <laughs> uh, every, every, every. Every day is tomorrow. Ah. Uh, Yesterday it was supposed to start today, but now we are we are eating cupcakes. So I'm going to have the pink one. Jacob, what would you like? Or TP? Happy birthday to voices. Happy birthday to voices. Happy birthday, dear voices. Happy birthday to voices. Hey, yeah. All right. On that note, uh, <laughs> let's cut to a tea. Everyone break. is watching now. Is like, please don't quit your day job, guys. <laughs> For singing career. <laughs> Although TP, you made it. For you 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 saved us there with that little. The oh the. Beatboxing. <laughs> uh, I'm not that bad, people. <laughs> okay, so moving on. Um, Swiftly. Yes, please please do share us on share stuff for our birthday. Don't be so. So we want to send a big shout out again to our Vway for contributing. Oh, he does contribute a lot to the show, even though he's there in the doing. Tundus, where is he? In, in the rivers. In the rivers, yes. He keeps posting about nature. <laughs> you go nature is like a pond. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> hmm? He posts about nature, but it's like a pond. That is like a pond of water. A pond, yes. Like I thought you said pond. That's why I was like... Yeah. Yeah. Did you also hear that? Yes. A beautiful pond. Like, why would nature have to do with pond? We smoke too much weed, so it doesn't get us. So, everywhere, much love to you. Much love after them. Thank you for, for always hey, doing everything. Hey, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, obviously he went on camera, so he didn't get it. Yeah. We'll message him later. But, I um, mean, the one thing is that we must watch Aries, because he's such a big Aries fan. No, yeah. And that our album is so terrible. It's he's an Aries fan. Yes. Since day one. He's an A1 from day one. Um, so, for our we went to Kumbula. Kumbula is here for my debut, guys. What She's here for my singing. Forget tomorrow. Oh, yeah, there we go again. Forever tonight. That was such a dope so intro. Lost, lost the intro. intro. Yeah. And then yeah, yeah. she said, You must harmonize with me next time. So we will, really? we'll work on that. Nice. We will practice. Oh, Kumbula, I'll harmonize. Wait, but how, what? how do you harmonize? <laughs> Tomorrow, then you go with this harmonized with a person. Oh, okay, I see, I see. So it's almost like that humming sound at the back. No. Oh, Jacob just saying. It's not like that. I've had a way to feel yeah, the no. voice. I was it's the one like who started with happy but... birthday now today, so. <laughs> so we'll work on the harmonizing Kumbula, but I, we'll I, I have many talents, I just don't use it. 
I'm a better singer than Diego, though. <laughs> like, for real, for real. He meant Diego have this battle about who's the best singer. And I, I have videos of both of them singing. Remember that photo that I sent the other day? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna show you the video, though. No, there's no yeah. video. It's a lies. I need to post that video on Instagram. Uh, I was if, we, if we get 100 views on this video, I will share the 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 video of Jacob and Diego singing. No, and they were both topless guys, so they're both showing their six packs. Oh. So you have to share this episode like crazy with all your friends and all your family. Got everybody to watch it. I have a macabre so. Hmm? I have a macabre so. You have a go. Uh, like a, you know, uh, a boop. Um, what is it? A boop. Boop. Pants. But it's still. Crude mark. Yeah. So like uh, skin, like people want to still see skin. Ain't she special? People still want to see skin. The day the. The MP1. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, the computer. You know, one. actually, girls really find that attractive. Oh. Like, like, okay, girls that are into blessers. If they see a guy with, like, big babies, they're like, yeah, that's the guy. What about? It, okay. Like, with six packs. Because it means they're rich. Well, yeah, but, like, yeah, they feel like they are really rich because they even, you can even see their bodies are showing it. Because they can't, they're so rich that they can't keep up with, like, maintaining their health. So it's like, okay, there's a lot of money there. So, like, they're really, like, even back at home. For example, my brother has a baby. So, like, we know when you go home, like, to your grandmother's place, when you visit them, there's always those aunties that I have comments. So, aunties will be like, yeah, this one is going to be rich already because you can see how big his baby is. <laughs> and then they look at me like, you, ah, this one is still coming. I'm like, ah. Yeah, I'd be like, I'm so rich, That's I can afford gym membership. <laughs> <laughs> you see? <laughs> that, what a bad. That really I mean, impressed me. That yeah, really impressed that's me. That's extreme bad. Um, okay, so <laughs> shout outs to Kelly B as well. Who says Jacob is a Rihanna stand? Is it? Oh, Rihanna stand. Ah, okay. I'm actually a Rihanna stand. Oh. Mm. Uh, even though Rihanna can't sing live, she's mm. she's horrible. Really? Yes. I've never actually checked. That. But just her watching is mm. is, is, is a big shout out for Rihanna or Kelly. No. Uh, um. Is Bombay, Rihanna, yeah. Maybe Rihanna's watched us. You know that it, she is. Um, we went, we met her last year. Rihanna. <laughs> I'm still not following. <laughs> I was also going to say, yeah. You went, we met Bong Game yeah. last year. It, opposite the, the, the St. Pierre Manatees. Yes, uh, I remember. Now you remember. Yes. We met another uh, voices person mm. through you. Shamaine. We were walking. Pick up, picks up the Shamaine. She's mm. like, you guys are, you guys are from voices. You guys are TV's friends. No. Oh, shout out to Shamaine. Thank you for watching. She was so excited to see us. <laughs> it's okay. But, 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 but um, I, I'm disappointed in CPUT. They don't have a place where you can certify. You <laughs> need to come here to certify. Really? Yeah. Ah, uh, that's the, there's a struggle that side. And then we also want to send a shout out to CQ. Um, she wants to let you know, Jacob, that she does not have your money. My money? <laughs> yes. No, she said she doesn't have money. I must stop lying. Oh. Yeah, so she she has a... She has money or she doesn't have money? She's quite she loaded. She broke down the, the, the cost, how much she's getting to this new company she's working at. Yeah. <laughs> so she must sponsor one of the episodes. <laughs> yes, we will put you here at the bottom. Sponsored, Sponsored by Sponsored Sikki. by Sikki. <laughs> And then a shout out to Shekaina. I should kind of. What happened to the to the? Yeah, I know. But it's just it's far away now. Yes. Um. So shout out to Shekaina, and she has shared uh, Voices of the South, and I don't understand if you haven't shared Voices of the South yet. Shekaina has shared Voices of the South people Thank and you. youngster. So get and on reason. board and reason. When reason even watched. Reason has watched. Yes. So these are the people uh, watching. Did you comment us. or something? No, you watched like the whole thing. Yeah, one of our episodes. Yo. Where we review this album. And shout then, out to Reason. Yeah. And shout out to, to Shekane yeah, for for her them. new show. She's mm-hmm. hosting a, a concert. All female lineup, all female backstage crew. Is it okay, you remember before the elections there was a, a lineup the one yes. with Is it something like but that? Quest was on that one. Yeah, yeah, I know. You see that one has yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it similar? This is no, this is all females. I think on the list these it's called the Rose Fest. So, um, the Shoma Jones is there, of course. <laughs> and then you have Busiswa, Holy Ray, 
and DJ Zinchle is some of the names. There are a few others as well. Moonchild, I think, is also on there. Mm. So, like, she said this was the second biggest announcement since Rose Gold album. And then okay. the, the of her career. The, fest, the festival is called Rose? Rose Fest. Rose Fest. So, oh, shout out to And please bring it to Cape Town, because that I see it's in Joburg on the 9th of August, which is Women's Day. And then it's going to be in Durban. It's raining so much in Cape Town during that period. True, but Grand West is covered. Grand West is a big arena. Okay. She can do it in Grand West. Uh, Voices of the South will sponsor you. No! Oh, <laughs> Siki will sponsor you. <laughs> yeah, Siki will sponsor you. Um, okay, so before we move on... Uh, yeah, just something about uh, Reason. He finally got a shot on, shot on Sway. Yes, he did. For reason. Yeah, so he was hustling for months to get mm-hmm. a, a, a slot on Sway. So when Sway came, he got it. So he's gonna go there or? He's gonna go there. Yo, oh. please say Cass Reason. That's so cool. That's so cool. Yeah, but he was, he, was, he was hustling for that spot. Like, well, was he tweet, did he tweet about it or something? Tweet about it, everything. Yo, he tweeted about it a lot. Like yeah. saying, yo, Sway, get me on or something. He was the one who tweeted about his Macau. He actually started a hashtag. Yeah. yeah, get the reason on Sway. Really? Mm-hmm. Yes. You are, it's a hustler. I see. Well, hey, you're again, again, I want you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, but that's actually dope, yo. So he's on Sway. He's going to be on Sway. And I'm excited. Mm. Because I think he's going to smoke Ooh. all of the other people that was on there. He's going to smoke Stoji T. He's going to smoke Westa. He's going to smoke... Nasty C. Nasty C, a.k.a. And Casper. Okay, no, I agree, Ned. I thought you were going to say he's going to be now the second one after Stogie T. Because uh, the other ones, like Casper and like, they, are, they were good, but obviously, as Stogie T's one, seal the deal, you see. Oh. Really? And, yeah, like, everyone even says, like, it even, like, that, that freestyle is even competing for, like, the, the best freestyle for 2019 on Sway. Even Americans are tweeting about that, like, yeah, this guy, cause, because of how much he knows the culture more than anything, you know. Because it's, it's about the culture at the end of the day. But he was apologetic about, say, fuck vibranium. Yeah, I should. But reason, the reason can't top that. And I have faith in the reason to top that. Okay, maybe I haven't really properly listened to reason. Because I know he's been in the game for a very long time. Back in, like, Hype. I don't know if you know Hype magazine. You know that mm. magazine? Yeah, my brother used to buy it a lot. So he would always talk about this guy called Reason. Was, at that time, like, Squatter Camp. It was still Squatter Camp's time. So I didn't even have... So for sure, Reason's rap is good. And he's gonna contend, but Stogie T, uh, he, he even said about how he rose the bar so high. So, yeah, he did. Every, he every said, rapper said it. Yeah, but Stogie T really rose it high, like for real, for real. These ones that just. But it was an easy beat. It was an easy b- a bar to raise. But yeah. it was also because easy beat. Because you had beat. SC and AK and all those people come on out. <laughs> Were you going with them? But it's also easy beat. Easy beat? Yeah. No, but that's the original, that's the, that's the true hip hop beat. Yeah. Like, Cause, because you should remember. Uh, Okay. okay, where is skill determined by easy beat, true hip hop beat, or like really go a difficult one like high power? I think if you can actually manage, if you can become a hip hop like a lyricist gymnast, you know, like oh, lyricist gymnast, gymnast. Okay. then you can like you can you can try all different kinds of beat. You see, because in that that's what hip hop was all about. They would just play music and then you just had to say on top of it, you know. Like that made you an it. MC back in the day. They, oh, that's how the, yeah, that's how the, the, the term. Yes. So I think Stogie T, with his so much understanding of the culture, for sure he knows about it and I think he can actually. Unfortunately, they gave him that beat, you see, because fine, it's, maybe, maybe it, was a, it was an easy beat, but. No, I think they, they're like, okay, this guy is from Africa, let's give him a. So. so I hear both of your points. Can't be you too. Um. So, as we moving on, firstly, oh, by the way, this cupcake over here is for everywhere. 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 So I think you can but, just hold this close to this, so you can play the the voice note from Mpo. Okay, which one? It's only one voice note. Hey, what's up? What's happening? I hope everybody's good. I'd like to wish Voices of the South a happy birthday. May they have a splendid year and many more years to come. More years of growth, more years of talking, and more years of knowledge. Happy birthday, Voices of the South, from MP underscore RSA. 
Bang, 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 bang. So, just so people know, um, as we, <clears throat> we're going to review, Mpo is a is a local rapper who we're going to be reviewing his album today. So, the intro, we played one of his songs called Love. So, stay tuned, we're going to be reviewing his album a little bit later. And that was him who sent the voice note to us. So, please do follow him on um, Instagram, mp underscore rsa. Yeah. Yes, and then buy some beef. Oh, we have it. Not there. Oh, we still get a shout out, yeah, so. No, we don't have a shout out. This, this, but no, 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 I'm just laughing because I've been checking things about the bicep beef you see in this. So, okay, we'll get this is too much. It's just a hold on with your biceps. He's <laughs> mainly <laughs> biceps. Okay, so firstly, we also want to speak in our birthdays. Want to wish Kendrick Lamar a Kadat a happy birthday as we celebrate our birthday on the 21st of June. Was it also the 21st of June? No, it was the 17th. Of on the 17th of June, K. Dat, Kendrick Lamar, aka. Kung Fu Kenny. Kung Fu Kenny, mm -hmm. aka. Yeah, like Duckworth. Duckworth. No. Really? Yeah. Yeah. He's... That one. His real name is Duckworth. Really? Yes. Isn't Kendrick something something? <laughs> Lamar? It's Duckworth Lamar. Oh. Yes. So we want to wish Kendrick Lamar a happy birthday. <laughs> He turned a whole 20, no? 32. 32? He's one year younger than me. We can still get married, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Things are so aligned. <laughs> well, talking about the alignment is that uh, the day before it's Tupac's birthday, June 16th. Oh, and shout out to Tupac's birthday. Is that appropriate? I don't know. No, Tupac is, like, is, is <laughs> immortal. It's immortal. He's a prophet. Yeah, true. So, legends born without it. yeah, so it's 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 crazy how this high power movement of 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 K dot, we he said that uh, Pac came to him in a dream, and he's born a, a day after Pac. It's, it's like the alignment is is super freaky. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is. Mm. It's it, that that's the thing that's uh, that struck me with the, with 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 that particular, it's like fuck, it's, it's almost. Like Tupac Green Carcinated. Mm. So. But I have a question about the rappers and calling themselves the next Tupac or the new Tupac. But the Lil Wayne did it, you remember? That was and, the time. And people <clears throat> moored him. <clears throat> yeah. And then, okay, Kodak Black didn't necessarily say that, but he mentioned something about most of these legends and he got like a huge. Backlash. Yeah, for that. He said like most of these guys, Biggie and, and Tupac, they are just legendary because they died. Yes. Like before they died, before their time. They, he's seen it as just that. He doesn't uh, get, I, I'm, I'm assuming, he doesn't value the messages that they were singing about and how it's still relevant with today's society. With the input in the industry. Yeah. <clears throat> no, like, but like, he, I think he's, Kodak Black is not aware of Tupac's social awareness, especially like, you know, and the issues he used to rap about, apart from just the gangster life. So... But this this is the trouble with or for me the trouble with 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 the younger generation when it comes to hip hop. Nobody gives a, nobody cares about going back to the days where um, DJ Cool Out started this this thing of of, of breaking the beat that is today mm. kind of hip hop. Nobody cares uh, even care about that particular history. You 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 call they say you say. Um, you talk about the Shoot Eagle Gang, you talk about MC Light, you talk about... Uh, uh, they might know NWA because of the the, the, the movie. movie. Um, mm. But if you even mention LL Cool J, um, um, Queen Latifah, all of these people is like, oh, what are you talking, you guys are lame, it's, it's mm. old. There's a history. And the history for me is, 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 is really important. Because the history <coughs> is supposed to show where we come from and, and, and where where we are now and if you ignorant like that like go to black and say look uh, that uh, they they're only famous because they died then really you didn't listen to their work you didn't you didn't do research you just started rapping because you heard a little way mm. but i like the way that kendi puts it is that he says he's machiavelli's offspring he doesn't say he's the next Tupac because he says in one of his songs, I don't want to be Pac, I don't want to be Big, I don't want to be 
these other people, Jay, I don't want to be those people you think I want to be. I'm going to be me, but he says I'm a Machiavelli's offspring. Mm. He's birthed from Machiavelli, from mm. Tupac. So I like that. Yeah, it's much better that way. Yeah. Nupsi said, though, say, I'm the Tupac of my generation. Mm. And he died. <laughs> <laughs> That's freaky. No, but it's the, that, this is the kind of, 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 of thing is, if when you say it, are you willing to take the consequences that comes with it? Being marginalized, being whatever. Because Park was a black painter. He was really for black power. And, and that's a, but a lot of people misses in his music. Mm. Yeah. Love. So there was someone who posted on, on <coughs> K-Dot's birthday, who was it? Who asked who... Complex. Complex asked um, which was Kendrick's best album. <laughs> TV, we'll we'll start with you. For me, the best album is... Yo, is, I think Good Kid Mad City because of the beats also. Good Kid Mad City. Yeah. Yes, that's the one we ends with Tupac. Right? No, there's the Bump of Butterfly. Bump of Butterfly. That's the black and white one to cover. Yes. To Bump of Butterfly then is my favorite. And probably... It's favorite or best because they ask the best, not favorite. For me... Ah. Oh. That's <laughs> like, how am I supposed to know what's the best? <laughs> best in terms of what then? Yeah. That's the criteria. No. Kendrick's best album? <clears throat> no. My answer is no. <laughs> I'm not... I can't decide. I know what Jay's gonna say. No, go, go ahead. I think Jay might even say he hasn't released his best work yet. You know, like the typical Jacob can answer. <laughs> Lies. What I would say is that for, 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 me, per, for me personally, mm. is that um, I don't have a favorite album. Yeah, we've been asking for favorites. I also don't have a best album. No, no, no. Jay. Jay. no. I knew that you would was was just. Because we're all going this way, me and Simone, and then Jay Because sometimes. Like, I want to listen to, to Pumba Butterfly to really get into that uh, the soul sound of it and sometimes I really want to get into the story which is Good Kid Mad City the, this film that he's that talking about and sometimes I want to go into the state of Kendrick and that's damn yeah. mm -hmm. what are you struggling or with as, as a big artist <sighs> and then I want to go to Overly Dedicated Oof. which is really experimental from, from the get go is this is the album that actually establishes a kind of sound for section 80 and when you want to go to section 80 is mixtape finally you have a product and a sound to put on as an album mm -hmm. and good kid man is just a uh, political yeah but good kid man it just yeah it didn't get a grammy but it just blew everything so it's very difficult to decide. What was it? You also said that he only has one. Number one. Number one hit, which is humble. Billboard. Billboard number one hit. His first and only. Yeah. is humble. <sighs> and that wasn't damn. Mm. It's the latest album. But we anyway, we're looking forward to seeing what he's going to bring up next. But everybody talks about k -Dot. The thing is, of a maid is, shows the impact. Yeah. You can have... Uh, number one hits after number one hits but if you will have the number one hit but it will still compare you to K-Dot <laughs> are you good as K-Dot? yeah and then we have Missy Elliott speaking of legends bam, 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 bam. I'll make all of the sounds today okay. <laughs> no. Missy Elliott who's got induction to the big wall of fame. We must stop clapping. We must stop clapping. Yes, clapping. Yes, clapping. Yes, yes, clap. yeah. yes, yes. Spike. Now the spike. The sound. The sound spikes. So, Missy Elliott, or you can. She was inducted to the Writers Hall of Fame. Writers Hall of Fame. Yes. Yeah. The first. Um, first female artist. Yes. And I was just telling Jacob yesterday. Artist. Yes. I was just telling Jacob yesterday, we were listening to one of her songs from the album we were reviewing last week, mm -hmm. the last episode, which is <clears throat> The Cookbook, right? The Cookbook came out in 2005. So if you're listening to 2005, obviously she was there in the 90s already, but 2005 to where we are now, 2019, that she's now being inducted mm -hmm. as the first female writer and she's now getting 
the recognition of her honorary doctorate. She's now blowing up. How many years does it take? Did you wait? And here people are wanting instant fame tomorrow. You wanted your your life. Forty life's years. years. <laughs> More than that, because when she started, I mean. Yeah, but fourteen years from the cookbook. Fourteen years from the cookbook. From the cookbook. Yes. To the Until she's getting. So she's but, uh, first one came out in in uh, Super Duper Fly was in nineteen ninety eight. Mm. Oh, she's a busy woman. But she was writing before that, I think. Yes. She was writing for people before that. So 1998 is 21 years you get your recognition. 21 years? That's a whole person. Well, that's a whole person, yo. So, yo, man, I mean, but why, motivation. why are they only coming out now? Like, the honorary degree doctorate that she got and this? But the honorary doctorate was because of the impact she made in the music industry. No, but like, why? Because no, what I'm looking at now is like, her album is close yeah. to being released, so now all of these things are coming. Is it is it planned or did she know all along that she was gonna get this thing and so. she thought so you know she also strategic about it. So university doctorate is not given based on the album that is coming out. It's based on there's people in the university that think about your impact and like we're going to the work that you put out is equal to that as a doctor. Mm. Yeah. So that goes through a really academic scrutinization of, 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 of your particular work because it needs to have the standards of the university mm. to give you that particular one. Writers Hall of Fame, I think after the honorary doctorate and then people see, mm. I think they started review, let's look at our work. Mm. And they say, okay, the body of work of us this, of, of is amazing. So we need to give a, mm. a Writers Hall of Fame. Yeah. So, Shout out. I mean, I mean, I just picture us sitting like, in her room, starting to write, or deciding, should I go out with my friends, or... You mean like the I... first, first time? I have. Oh, when she was writing, you know, like, started, it's still like, okay, maybe I should write. Oh, I now I think about myself also, like, but I mean, Netflix is right there, I can just watch. You know? <laughs> why, why must I work? <laughs> because in 21 years, oh, 21 years, what's gonna happen in my life? You want to work, man. Yeah, so so shout out to Missy Alex for that. And then um So it's like now she's like a queen in the game or something. Like a real she has been the she's queen. She's been the queen. So like I want Nicki Minaj and Kylie B they're just playing around yeah, 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 yeah I'm a queen, yes that no. but she's just there overlooking them, she's like, Yes my daughters, be ambitious. <laughs> I am my daughters, no. Yeah. Dala what you must. Because <laughs> that's how fly she's she's super duper fly. She is. But the culture is so quick that people forget. People forgot about Marcia, and I and I and I think when she started saying that I'm close to her album was like, oh yeah, Marcia, and that's why I started listening to music, and I mean that's why I think the cookbook was a good album to to listen to. Yo, and it's, I this days. album is done, like the one that she's been working on. Yes, it's done. She said it. You know, I actually got really sad on the next album, another album that she released after that. I think it might have been under construction. If I'm not mistaken, she has a song called Hip Hop Is Dead with Jay Z and someone else. And I, I honestly, when I heard that song, I started feeling so sad. Every time they're like, Hip Hop Is Dead. Mm. Um, and the whole the whole song is just about how the, the, the cop is dying and stuff. And for me, it was like, it was so sad because you kind of felt they struggle, what they used hip hop for and what people are using it for. Even in that time, when did that come out? 2000 and Eight maybe. Yes. Nine. I think around about that time. Um, uh, Leslie Mapango will uh, correct us in any case. <laughs> ah, Leslie, shout out to Leslie. Leslie. Leslie will tell you that. Uh, Black Ninja. Black Ninja. Black Ninja. Black Ninja. <laughs> oh, is he a graffiti artist, by the way? Cause... I think so. Yeah. We must ask him to come to our studio. Yeah, can we give us a better voice as yeah, here to get do. this thing, man? But like, is he, cause he, he has those mysterious vibes, and so maybe it might be those that only do graffiti at night. And then you just find like, something written there, and then you don't know it came. You know those guys? It's so, could be. And black and Tell music. us, tell us, tell us, Leslie. Yeah, DM, DM us. <laughs> okay, we're talking about Sway, who has come to South Africa for some odd reason. Um, <laughs> some odd reason. <laughs> no. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. For the culture. For the culture. So Sway came, um, who was on stage with him there? It was... Casper. Uh, Casper was there. Uh, Boozley was there. 
No, it was. I think it was she was only female. Rouge. No, she I wasn't. Don't, I don't remember. I saw people. Nadia Nakai. Nadia Nakai. Nadia Nakai was there. With that G-string uh, thingy. Mm. Nadia Naked. What's wrong? Nadia all? Naked. You know, you know. Hmm? That's it's too much. Oh no, it's not too, it's too much. much. It's not too much. It's not body. And here's the fact, guys, about that. Me and her share the like share the same birthday, so that's cool. So, so that's cool. <laughs> no, like real, real, real. Like, 18th of May also. But anyway. Yeah. So he, yeah, so he sways here. Um why is he here? Um so he came to check what's happening down in South Africa, you see, like how's the culture. Ever since he's been having like freestyle guests on his show, he felt like there really is a need to go down there in the motherland, like they call it, to see what's actually happening because he says most of the guys are even better than, you know, like they are very well schooled about the true well they're really quite good when it comes to hip hop. So he came down to check it out and then mm. listen out to because he you actually wanted to meet Aries. Well, that's the hype mostly apart from him coming to the whole event. So he met Oh, Aries. they are we where you get your Aries. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Aries freestyle for me, it was cool but mostly killed it, yo. Mostly shout out to Mosley's ghostwriter, like yeah. <laughs> no, it's not shade. No, like for real, there, there's a <laughs> there's a, um, there's another show where there were DJ Speedstar, Vigilante, and Scoop and Miss Cosmo they were discussing how it's happening now that most female rappers have ghostwriters like Boiti and them, and and the male community is fine with that because I don't know maybe it's because like you know that whole treatment of like female rappers, and they they but basically they were trying to say this thing should be normalized because it is known that mostly has a ghostwriter. Oh, that's what Scoop said, you see. So... Why should it be normalized? Why can't they write their own stuff? But in R&B... Be... Okay, this is a... Do we want to open this can, can no. of worms when it comes to ghostwriters? Because in R&B, uh, you have only have the, 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 the singer that is uh, uh, singing someone else's songs. Mm. Baby face or everything. Yeah. <laughs> most of most, most of Tony yeah. Braxton's the song. Oh, sidebar, do you guys know that the very first hip hop song, very first hip hop love song was LL Cool J's, one of LL Cool J's songs. Mm, Trivia. He was the first know. one to do a hip hop love song. That's dope. Back in the 80s. That's actually like artistic innovation, yeah. Right? Yeah. And now look where we are with hip hop and even the song we opened up was love. See? Hip hop love. Oh, wait. Me, more. Mm -hmm. Okay, let, let's not go into ghost writers. Ghost writers deserve yeah. a, a section on its own. Oh, a oh, whole episode. Um, so, the Meek Mill performance. Anybody? I'm not a Meek Mill fan, but I watched one song that it was performed. I don't even know the, name, like, the name of the song, but I was just checking it out for the energy and see how. Yeah, it looks like the, pe the people like were really receptive, like they were very receptive to like his lyrics and the performance. So it looked like it was a very good event, and he killed the performance. But not a fan of Meek Mill, so yeah. So the whole thing about Meek Mill that people misses is that um, Meek Mill is kind of a reformed person. Yeah, I've noticed that. Okay. So can you talk about? Are we uh, talking about? So before his um, his imprisonment. Ming, the Ming Mill that you knew and the Ming Mill that you know now is, is two different mm. Ming Mills. He rap, he, he wasn't a social conscious rapper before prison and, and in prison he encountered the, the, the criminal justice system of America and realized how unfair it is. Mm. And that kind of you, that ushered him into a different, I'm going to use my platform to speak about injustices, especially when black um, Inmates and, and convicts are experiencing at the hands of, of the criminal justice system. Um, his probation, uh, his probation violation led to uh, what do you call this thing? Um, House arrest? No, he is one of the toughest. Um, Defense man. No man, I'll, I'll get to it. Restraining order. No, I'll get to it. I <laughs> don't get it now, but. Go on there. Okay, cause but uh, cause I was gonna say I've noticed something about me. Like indeed he has changed, and even 
the people that he's surrounding himself with now, like Jay Z and them. Obviously, Jay Z won't be sitting around talking about nonsense. So for sure, that he's basically discussing some, I'm assuming, serious things with Jay Z. You know, if, if that makes sense. Like in terms of what Jay Z is about, wealth, and I don't know what else is he about, but those those that we know of about him, you know. So that made me, and then I saw one interview of him. And gentrification of black people in America. Does he also talk about that? Jay Z is responsible for the whole. The black people in, in the Bronx losing their their places. He helped the Mets acquiring that thing. We need. Yeah. We must not forget that he played a role in. Um, don't make Jay Z a god. Mm, no, I see what you mean. Ish. It's the same with like DJ Sebo. He makes good moves when for terms of businesses. But let's talk about Zara. Zara. But then he responded, "Is it true?" He said, "It's not true." He said, "Like there's some reason to it." But again, listen, I also don't know now, because now obviously that paints like a bad picture for him. You see, uh, Zara, I think, uh, might have uh, signed a, a non-disclosing agreement. Mm-hmm. NDA. I actually don't know what you're talking about. Hmm? I actually don't know what you're talking about. Oh. So, uh, DJ Zara claimed that DJ's boo and his past record company they owe they owe him like they owe her like 10 million or some 1 million i don't know but a lot of million of rents of her for songs and all of that so now she spoke about it and then on twitter it was trending people were like yeah when you only say he's hitting us more fire here yet, yet in the meantime owing another child's money so yo it's been very wild but yeah i think he, he kind of like you let's not make these people gods man okay Okay, you will drift so off that one, but... I was like, what that Where were you? I don't know. Welcome back, Simon. <laughs> wow. Um, Welcome back. Uh, let's, let's talk about your bicep beef, guys. <laughs> hey, that what one. is the biggest bicep between me and TP? No, it's TP, obviously, yeah, for sure. Okay, it, 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 it. My one-year-old nephew is, I don't know, come in here and tell you he's good to muscles. <laughs> <laughs> he comes to me this morning. He says, "Um, Mom, must I do push-ups?" <laughs> <laughs> I do three push-ups. <laughs> three. Yeah, he found one. So he does push-ups, and then he lifts whatever is nearby him, as if it's the heaviest thing ever. Mm. So he lifted an empty bin, like a small empty bin. He's like, "Look, Mom." <laughs> I'm like, "Okay." So I think Zion has the biggest biceps. <laughs> Uh, for me, that one, uh, it's obviously that uh, Prince KB, his, his bicep look bigger, so I don't, I don't think, Casper's body, like, he has a very um, broad body, like, he's, he's very built. My question is, can you scratch your back? Mm. <laughs> question, yeah. In the middle, if it's itching, like, here. Yeah. Can you scratch it there? Because oh, if you yeah. can't, why, why then? <laughs> but, but why are we even discussing it? And you, you asked me, must well, it, it came it came as a bit of club, like there was like a little bit of club that I sensed it, like the way they were going on at each other, until he called him Chopin and Roberto Carlos. You know, he even called because <laughs> they had very long with him. You Google it, yo. Ah, because guess my shot. So he was like, hey, we're Roberto Carlos. Was... <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't be the one to be there, like. Yeah, yeah, can't be. Can't be. We we there for you. Yeah, but but yeah. the way that they <laughs> they playing with Casper man, putting taxis behind him, putting clothes on him. <laughs> yeah, yo, and he gets his get getting touched like very like yeah, but even that one way. But you cannot get touched. That's the thing. Yeah, you put it out there, you post it, so Because um this guy is one of his fans said is it so uh, I see where you get your inspiration from. Mm. And then He said that too. Yeah, yeah, Prince KB. So Prince KB is like uh I'm not competing with someone that doesn't have a bicep. Don't you want to show us your bicep there, Jake? No man has. Just come on now. Oh! <laughs> oh no, just but the camera is here. Just, 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 can you just, just let it up here. Can you just do this? Okay, between me and Diego. <sighs> Daddy D will win, beat me. We will, you know what? I think we, we're going to take photos later, TP, and then we're going to post oh, between yeah. Diego and Jacob and people in voices Instagram us. Well. She must vote. Uh, Daddy D would win. Daddy D. Daddy D. Da da. Um, speaking of Diego and Jacob, I beat them yesterday at. Uh, 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 the two 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 two
I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> Sorry, okay, okay. Um, Yes. Yeah, there's a lot of work for me that clipping. Okay, sorry about that. You can just cut it out. But my point where I, where I wanted us to discuss it is that um, you can be a how accomplished TP, no? But things like biceps and whatever thing that comes your way as a mainstream artist is not supposed to catch you. Yeah. I know you, you but there's people who just sit there to get clout. Yeah, I mean. So if you think KB did this for Cloud, then you were supposed to DM Bra like nah man. Mm, know your place. And then you get called short pen. You don't ever come back for that, because you call K- uh, Prince KB a bad bitch. No, he said he he didn't call the call him Princess KB. Ah man, that's so easy. It doesn't take any biceps for you to tweet these things, guys. <laughs> get in a ring and fight MMA style. Let's see how that goes. Oh, and then they said down. someone suggested that they should fight. You saw that? Yeah. They should actually. Make like a yeah, set it like men. Yeah, but Twitter wants that. Twitter wants that from Casper. To get moved. No, oh. to respond, and he responds everything. It's okay. Just stop. There's so much energy that goes into that. Like focus on something that's gonna build you. Like yeah. you build your biceps. You already <laughs> filled up. You filled up stadiums. You have you have good endorsements. You are mainstream. I think you should learn from Bonang because Bonang really. Cause she's she received a lot of hate, but she has a thing where she just keeps on going. Yeah, hmm? that is success, big. I mean, idols are for now. Hmm? Hmm? Idols, idols was going down, man, and then they needed to revive idols, so they brought Bonang on as a presenter. <laughs> no, as a contestant. <laughs> as a contestant. Are you being sarcastic? No, no, but no. Uh, it's real. Like she was singing. Ma- 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 <laughs> that very uh, it's the same with Kanye West. They did the same with Kanye West on no 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 no. Oh, I remember Kanye West. Oh, like that kind of way. Yes. Can I did Kanye West sing there? It's one of his old songs. And idols or the boys? No, oh, American Idol. Idols. Idol. Idol. Also, also Bonang did the same. Yes. No, I didn't know. That. And then is it? Is it? Did it? I don't know. I think she got kicked out. But um, anyway, moving on. <laughs> So it's called Thoughts and Paper. He even signed it for us, you see. 
it says one love mm -hmm. and he signed it first so i mean i can't like but i mean I can't do this. I can't. I can't do this. Though. Yes, we have a. Bum, 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 bum. Where is it? Mpo, I was blown away. Um, am I starting? I'm starting. Uh, I was blown away because I didn't expect this. <laughs> I didn't know what I was expecting. I was expect. I don't know what I was expecting. But um. I didn't know, man. Like, he's really... Oh, somebody else would come. Okay, so what I was expecting, I expected a uh, really uh, trippy... Um, scrum. 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 Yes. Uh, um, Bubblegum rap is like his favorite. Bubblegum rap that is <laughs> what you call... With the filter, what you call it? The auto-tune. Auto auto -tune. The shit auto-tune out of it. Yeah. So, yeah, but so I didn't get it. So when he started... I was like, okay, this is this is interesting. So then I listened to the flow. I was like, okay, there's this flow. Uh, then I listened to, okay, there is a little deep content. So from the first song on, was you already have me. Yeah. When he started talking about uh, the youth, in, and I was like, okay, I'm 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 into this up until the mm. end. And true to uh, a a a, a mixtape style, I like I like the experimentation on 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 this particular tape. Is there's yeah. there's various different sound. It, most of it is it laid back, uh, but he is experimenting. Yeah. And and that's what you're supposed to do with with a, with a mixed tape. So I I I love this. I, I love thoughts on paper. She and um, I don't know, um, boy, if you're watching, you better be watching. But Mbo, <laughs> Jacob, is if you've watched our previous episodes mm -hmm. and what you've said about local artists, especially, um, it's really like. You don't even need any more, what's the word I'm looking for, um, affirmations or anything. Just Jacob reviewing your album and just going, it's brilliant. He's brilliant. I like, it, but, it, but it is really good. Like for me, the first track as well, when you started listening to it, I was like, okay, let's listen. And then as the beat started coming, the beat is really slow. The beat is really chill. And then he starts rapping. But the beat really compliments him like in the first track especially the beat doesn't overpower your voice or anything it mm. just it just comes through so nicely and it really complements each other um so shout out to i think it's j j e l he says or j l i'm not sure how you say it who was his producer on this album um so the tracks are really well thought out well put together so i obviously have my favorites and i've listened to this album three times already mm. and i actually want to keep listening to it because I was listening on it on my way back to church and back from church I finished that album like going mm -hmm. to church coming back from church I'm listening to it firstly I like the fact that he didn't have to resort to any sway words on the album um there's there's no like profanities which is which is difficult to do it's not about using the n word it's not about being word. clean yeah it's not about being clean and being Christian it's mm -hmm. just about it's difficult to do <laughs> um so so shout out to him for doing that and i actually listened there was a lot of stuff that i actually could relate to that i actually felt like yo this is actually powerful stuff that he's saying it's it's very valuable things that he's saying um i want to listen to it more so that i can listen how i can help and empower the youth through what he's saying um he's got a lot of good content and it's it's really thought provoking things and motivating as well, especially when he says you guys think that this rapping thing is small business. Mm. Uh, <laughs> oh, we get it. We all we all in a in a different type of hustle, yeah. We different entrepreneurs, so we get it. So this is like this already. I can see him going like really really far. Um, so brilliant you album put together. You definitely have the skill. Yeah, well, shout out to MP. Mm, I think. First thing, the first thing that I noticed, the title of your album, mixtape or EP, mm. and the the choice of sound that he went for, yes. the, they correlate. So yes. really, like me looking at just like how what the album is about, thoughts on paper. And then once I listen to the sound and actually the things he speaks about, because most of most of those things are you know, things that you normally think about or reflect on, you know, because it really has a reflective mood. Yeah. So. 
Yeah, and then because I also have questions for like the color. Why did he choose green? Why mm. that picture of him as a cartoon and all of that? Because art starts from just you know not just in the music. Yes. In this case, also in the cover of this. And then mm. uh, the que- I actually have a question for him, which is what music did he listen to and what why like why did it what inspired him to choose this kind of sound? Because uh, mm-hmm. you know I'm really much more for like beats. Yeah. Because I was thinking maybe he's like, he probably grew up, maybe he has a brother or maybe like someone who like, because I don't know, I'm assuming he's younger, so maybe he has some, someone older who used to play like old school hip hop or something like that. Because I think that's where he might have gotten, or just he, he yeah. maybe he just became the, the different kid who decided to just listen mm-hmm. to like real rap and not screw, <laughs> screw. <laughs> no, but it's really, it's but even that is real rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. <laughs> Depending on what they rap about, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but the, the content is brilliant and I, I like the thoughts. I mean, it really does sound like he he was thinking and he just wanted us to know what he was thinking. Mm. So it comes through so nicely. So so usually what we do is when we have something to review for, for ourselves, yeah, our own work for each other, we first start with the good things. Um, so that was mostly the good things. And then we go, okay, so now be, be critical. Tell me what I need mm. to work on. <laughs> so um, from my side, the, I listened to the, the song in the car and I think it was only two songs that the, the sound was louder on and the bass was too much. Mm-hmm. So I had to actually turn it down because those were the two songs and I had to turn it up for the next song. So I think it was track yeah. three and track nine. Is nine water? Nine water. was the water life crisis and, yeah. and, and three is love. Oh. So your water life crisis though, that's deep. It's a deep song. It's actually my favorite. Yeah. Because of the bass, because I really love bass, you see. So yeah. Because even the speaker was here, and then it was, yes. like, <laughs> it was like, yeah. And I listened to it, and the long b- bass bass kind of sound yeah, reflects, the... like, you know, how it would probably feel when you're, like, mm. underwater, because it speaks about someone who, who basically died because of, I'm assuming, drowning. And I think these are the kind of sounds you could, I think he was trying to immerse the listener into mm. something like that, cool. and that was cool. I, but I think that's also really big of him to share at such an early stage yeah, in his no. thing in his career, eh? yeah. That's quite a big thing to start sharing about that. So we we value that, I think. Um, but then, what's next? <laughs> and here's, here's here's the thing. Um, to put out his album into the bigger picture of what I've I've listened to this year, this is one of the standout things. It stand out for me not in terms of how well it's mixed and how how glamorous the, 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 the sound and is I'm I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about what art is supposed to be. Yeah. The experiment, the the expression, the the thoughts, the, the pureness and not going for the the hit. Yes. And if you look at the at the digital album it's it's about the hit. Mm-hmm. And then you look and no, we're not going into it. Yeah, I'm just saying, I'm saying very much it is like that. It's, it's, it's going for the hit, and then you have Tyler, the creator, who's more experimental with, with his sound and, and on, mm-hmm. on his album Ego. Now, if, if this one falls on paper, I have that kind of, I have that kind of sense is that um, you're experimenting, there is no fear, you are hungry, you want to do something, you want to put it out there. And even the way you distribute it. You distribute it as, as a copy, so you still have appreciate that you have something, that you own something, that is mm-hmm. it's not streamed. And yeah. So I, I value it because he signed it, man. It's like there's a different kind of value having a mixtape like this mm. than putting it on SoundCloud or yes. putting it on, on, on. So then it creates the accessibility. So the people who are watching and they're wondering, what are we talking about? What is the songs and all these things? You have to get that this physical copy of the CD. <laughs> so you could either DM us or you could contact him on Instagram. But it, it, that's what it is. It's, it's this value of like, okay, we actually have to have a listening party. We couldn't um, share the, the songs on our phones. We had to like sit together and listen. And I think that was even better because here we're getting to share the experience together, even though we're all having our different experiences of what he's saying. and and what's happening with the beat, but I think I like that. And it's such a reflective song. Also, I don't recommend driving and listening to this album. 
Yeah, yeah. So I was like, I'm, I was probably sitting at the robot for like, I'm like, the robot's green. When did it turn green? <laughs> Shit, I should drive. Because <laughs> I, was, I was really deep in the song. But there is work on this album. Yeah, there is. Uh, especially, he can take this uh, this mixtape and develop it into an album. And that, that is what you're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. If you think about Overly Dedicated and you look at Section 80, then you kind of see that progression from yeah. Overly Dedicated to Section 80. So so the same is with, with this particular uh, mixtape. You can develop it into an album that sounds young, so 26, before you put out his album, mm-hmm. his debut al- album. So yeah. But this particular one is is really close to I think like seventy percent of it mm-hmm. is close to uh, an album. album. Yeah, what they just need at this particular moment is to get uh, a high level, high class producer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I hope someone is watching. I hope okay, Reason yeah. is watching. I hope someone big in the industry is watching this particular episode and let a guy come in yeah Casper if you see this let a guy come in sign him yeah he said in, on his my career that he, he, he dreams about a a, 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 a a career in music yeah bring the dude in he is but I also think in terms of what um, he is doing he should be sending this out to those companies yeah, you know access is, access is difficult I, I know I know but if you decide, okay, at least five of these things, I'm just going to push it out there and get it some way. It's going to lay somewhere on someone's table, even if it lays for mm. a few months. So, so for me, the reason why I'm saying is that this is, this is 70% ready, is that he's ready as an artist. Yes. You see, there's other, other artists that is so into the skr skr and the auto-tuning, that they are not ready. So they use a lot of auto-tune and a lot of skr skr because they are not developed yeah. into artists yet. Yeah. So this dude is already an artist. He has a flow, he has mm. a, he's a lyrical breakdown. He can listen to the beats and he can rap according to the beat. So he is there. He mm. just needs a little bit of artist development, yeah. a good studio and a producer. Mm. And, mm. and put it out I would there. actually love to see him perform live. Actually, I have a, yeah, yo, that, I think that's another thing, like, seeing him perform live yeah. also. Because I've really noticed, like, I've been really observing live performers. I know maybe some, some artists aren't really good live performers, but I've been watching, like, closely Casper, a.k.a. MT, and, okay, A.V.s is just after that, the mixtape. But I've seen how being an entertainer also, or, some, or if they if yeah. you have a way of connecting with Audience. the crowd, it plays a huge role in your career as an artist, because... Yes. I only see how Casper with his cool dances, even my okay mom cool kid, there's that vibe that they have with the audience because mm. people love seeing people dance. Mm. And you know like South African dance, like this house music dance, mm. there's something about it that a person will just dance for for maybe seven, fifteen seconds, but you want more because of that. Yeah. There's something about that flair, essay flair dance that you know you wanna see more. So Casper does that every time, like with his rap performances and then he just dances just a little mm. bit, just to sprinkle that <laughs> vibe. And then he goes back to the... So him, I also want to hear him locally. But I had a question for you guys, which is... What do you think is, imp- what do you think is important that artists should learn, young artists should learn, before now stepping into like the industry for real, for real? Because he's basically almost there. Like, he, like as you were mentioning everything, basically all he needs now is just the, the right tools and resources and people. And then he starts you know, building within the industry. But what do you think is important that they should know first? For me, the first thing is stay true to yes. this version of you. Mm. Yes. So when you work with a with, with a big company and a mainstream artist, before you sign it, one of the things that you need to do is is the creative expression for me yeah. in this. Have a lawyer check those papers. <laughs> Can I express myself or am I going to make hits for you? Yeah. That, that that's the one thing that you if you have artistic expression. Mm. Then you can kind of work towards. But if you can sign on and they say, okay, this is a beat because he has amazing skill. So we can get you beats. And then we want you to rap to that. Mm. So then you cannot really come with your creative expression. And yeah. So the one thing that you need to stick as a young artist is that stay to who you are with this mixtape. Mm. Creative expression. If they don't want to give it to you, you can wait. Sell your mixtapes. Don't be in a rush. Up until the industry... Except that version of who you are. Yeah, they're not ready for you. But, I mean, the, the industry needs this, Yes, is what I think. But they don't know it yet. So how do you get somebody to know that they need you, but they don't know they need you? So that's what I also sense it is. And I think 
if he could start working on producing himself, you know, trying to understand producing and beats for himself mm -hmm. so that you know that somebody else can't screw you over. So you say, actually, that's not the beat that I want. I want it like this. So producers are also out there to try and get you to play along with what they're doing, you know, like Jacob is saying. So I also say stay true to it. And if even if a big ass company comes to you and says like, um, we want to sign you, but you've got to change. Don't sign. Don't sign it. Because from the album, you can hear that he's not doing it for money. Yes. Mm -hmm. The money will definitely come, but be patient. Listen to Kendrick. Kendrick tells everybody in TDE to wait. Hold on to that album. Don't release it yet. Just wait. And you sit in there like, oh, wait, really? oh, wait so others have like special albums that they feel like this one is going to make a bang, but let me... Keep it. Ever now. So it's not like just when they record, release yeah. record the release. Because I've always wondered then, that's why some artists are, even after a long time, they're still relevant. Maybe it's because some yes. of the most most organic or like authentic they first, still have it. you know before they started getting food. so i would also but, say you must record more but there's a few companies that allow it mm. tde is one of those record labels that allow artist development even joe Biden said is that that's the one thing that tde is killing everyone is the artist development so when reason not south african reason when american reason came to tde he already had an album out so Top Dog listen with him, the owner of the label sit and listen with him and it's like, okay, this is a passion project for for you. We're mm. gonna really really re release this product for you, mm. but we're gonna work on another one. Because they want you to get your sound. So we uh, reviewed who's this guy? Crash Talk, uh, Schoolboy Q. That's Q Q sound, it's identity and everything mm. is in it. So don't be in a rush mm -hmm. Oh, basically, like they're still being themselves also. Yes. Yeah, yeah for sure. But they're part of the family, man. So, yeah, I, I, yeah, I love it. And speaking of signing to companies, what about, you see like now what MT is going through most with the whole hashtag free MT thing on Twitter. I think that's also like important, especially for like young artists that mm. arrive. Because even like at the house, there's this new kid who stays there, he raps. He's like, he's very much into rap. He raps, raps, raps. But he's so focused on the art. I just picked his brain and I was like, so how are you going to make sure that you don't get robbed? I just said it like that by, you know, people seeing that you maybe you're more into art. Because he even mentioned that I love the art part. I don't want to deal with the business part of things. So I asked him that question and he just said, no, my music is my music. You see, so his understanding of actually owning the rights and all of those things, he doesn't have yet. Okay. So, so here's for any young listener who is a rapper and who gets a deal with a company. Before you sign, come to Uncle Jacob. <laughs> Uncle Jacob will take you to a lawyer. You can know a lot of lawyers. Yes. Where we and I know a lot of the pitfalls of many of the mainstream yeah. artists. So then Uncle Jacob with the lawyer will look at your contract. I don't want anything. I don't want your money. I don't I just put you in contact because I'm passionate about your your um. art. But this with this lawyer friends of him and you will get the proper deal. If the company then doesn't want to sign you then they want to screw you over, then don't sign. Yeah, don't mm. sign. So get yourself a lawyer, and if you want to come and say, have a good lawyer, come to me. Mm. You'll get it. But I'm poor, this yeah. is brilliant. I love it. It's one of the better... We are all Yes, one of the better <laughs> projects I've listened. Uh, I know it's not <coughs> mastered like 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 a uh, mainstream, but it's a mixtape. It's supposed mm. to sound like this. But this is the thing, like, it, it, it's not like the commercial music that's out there it's but wrong. it sounds like it could be yeah mm. that's the potential <laughs> so of this that is brilliant it that is. is big and really the rapping the flow the, the rhymes there was so much that i'm listening to it it's like that's good that's a good one bubblegum rappers you can chew on this i mean come on <laughs> <laughs> like that was one of that's my favorite that's lines that's but the one thing that i also wanted to say was on that song career you don't mention dancers you know what i'm talking about you mentioned all other artists except dancers. But it's okay. It's my career. It's your career. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. Um, but yeah, shout out to him for so. So please also share this episode. Honestly, I think that's it for today. Yeah, so thank you guys for sharing with our birthday special. And please follow, like, share, subscribe. You know, all those things. Follow, like, share, subscribe. 
and share it with your friends as well. Like I said, if you guys share this and we get a hundred views, mm. um, I will share that video of Jacob and Diego singing yep. in their six packs and their biceps as biceps is yes um <laughs> so please Thanks. follow us on instagram voices of the south twitter voices Thanks of the south man. facebook voices of the south youtube simon mom play that's where we post voices of the south videos so much love thank you guys for watching i almost clapped but i won't do it and please don't disappoint our viewers Ish, i knew no, it viewers don't, don't disappoint, disappoint us. us don't Ish. please my banners <laughs>